Welcome back to Everything Money. People ask us to do reaction videos. Some are great, some are greater, and some involve my suave, gorgeous radio voice, Paul, and that's why I'm back again. We're all back for another reaction video. Paul, Tim asked me, our CEO and producer asked me to come up with reaction videos, and sometimes it's so difficult, Paul. I scan the internet, I, I take requests from patrons, and I'm watching videos. I did this yesterday, I'm telling you for hours. And it's so mind-numbing. I, I can just envision what you're going to say to some of these absolute whack jobs. I mean, I, I, I use like flat earthers and like hype investors in the same like. <laughs> like That's a good point, actually. It's like the same thing. They, they can't look at facts. You can't convince them. So I said to myself, if I pull up a, re uh, um, uh, a reaction video, Mo, and Paul just goes off on somebody, some people like that. But it brings a lot of anxiety in my life. So then I thought, well, what if I just showed you a video of somebody else going off on everybody else? Oh, wow. This guy is very famous. You've never seen him before. Because um, I don't watch videos. You don't watch any YouTube videos. Yeah. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at what this guy has to say. Um, his name is Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla? Coffeezilla. Like Godzilla, I guess. I, I follow. Here you go. Take a look. Time we had the talk. Not about the birds and the bees, but the scammers and the fees. Guys, today we're taking a look at the phenomenon known as the doge tuber, okay? The doge tuber, they're a strange species, a subclassification of the family of scammers. And the specific genus is financial shills, but it's even more specific than that. The doge tuber lacks empathy, heart, and any morality at all. It masquerades <laughs> as a genuine analyst for crypto, but in actuality, it only has one analysis in its arsenal. To the moon buy now get rich 420 dogecoin elon musk discord buy the the signals now to the moon the doge tuber is full of enthusiasm but they lack any moral empathy for people getting wrecked by their advice they only care about their own profits which they get by constantly evangelizing about the latest crypto that, that they're holding or your, your first thoughts that's very true so far i like it i mean he's Think i'm thinking to myself boy he's a lot more um Likeable than me at times. <laughs> That's okay. He's wearing Love suspenders. suspenders. Ball. Yeah. Love and look, the yeah. reason I'm making this video is because crypto's in the news right now and Doge Troopers can be highly deadly to your I love his background. Health, and I want to make sure you're as educated as possible. Yeah, That's not Apple 2E back there. <laughs> it's, it's not distracting at all. <laughs> My advice that you stay away from these people, but they can be hard to spot, which is why I'm going to be giving you four symptoms someone you know could be a doge tuber. No, really, this is a real thing. Look, they're hard to spot. Like I said, they can look like they're just enthusiastic about crypto, but there's key differences. So number one, what does the doge tuber do? Doge tubers, they give investment advice while pretending That's to the not best. be giving you investment <laughs> advice. So this is huge, by the way. So this is just absolutely- This is for educational purposes only. This is the first sentence out of all these people's videos. And I'm like thinking to myself, as a viewer, do you actually say to yourself, if they have to say, this is not BS, that's the first thing they say. Listen, I, I do, I will defend them. It's- Come on. I mean, Seth, the problem is it's, you know, because you never know what people are going to think is investment advice. People probably think that when I say I like Intel, that means go buy Intel. That's yes. not what I'm saying. What I'm sitting there saying is I'm trying to educate you on what I believe. However, I do it with analysis and they do it with, this is going to the moon. I don't ever say that. You know what I mean? So that's, that's where I think there's the, I do understand why they say it's for educational purposes only, but then their, their actions and words do not, do not validate that same statement. Let, let them go into it. And look, you may have seen this disclaimer in a hundred YouTubers bios. I am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. It's for all in entertainment purposes. Do your own research and diligence before buying stocks and crypto, blah, blah, blah. Look, this is a normal legal disclaimer people have to use. It's like when a lawyer who's not your lawyer says this is not legal advice. But Doge Troopers use this as camouflage, as cover, as a loophole to sort of Willy Wonka their way out of legal liability. Really? Because what they'll do is they'll portray themselves as <laughs> what does an expert. That mean? Then they'll give you financial advice, sprinkle a little fairy dust, I'm not giving you financial advice, uh -huh. and they somehow absolve themselves. Which means that if you get I wrecked, like the editing. it's all on you. They're not going to take any responsibility. And to be clear, not everyone who has this disclaimer, who's like educating you on how to analyze stocks, is a problem. 
they're not doge tubers, right? If a finance YouTuber is teaching you how to evaluate stocks, that's not financial advice. They're teaching you sort of how to do the thing. Wow, that sounds familiar. Is if someone familiar. gives you financial advice. Does this guy advice, love us? Saying, hey, Does he know about us? I don't think so. I mean, he definitely doesn't subscribe as far as I know. But I mean, I started watching this like, wow, this is making some sense to me. So keep All going. All right, let's keep going. Buy this. Go buy that. How is that not financial advice? They're telling you, hey, you want to get rich like me? <laughs> Go buy this. That's financial advice. You can't then say... I'm not a financial advice. This is all entertainment. If you're telling people what to do. Now for this next tip, we got to go to the board. So the next tip is that <laughs> Doge tubers are constantly shilling some Dogecoin that they've been paid to promote. So this combined with part one is what makes the Doge tuber so So dense. we have a lot of disagreement in house about this. This is why I'm very big on if I ever endorse a product, yes. it's because I've already used it and we've reached out to the company and said, or they reach out to us. I want to sit there and say, let me use it. I, you Paul, don't see us. You ever. and I own a total of nine companies that we never talk about on the show. We don't even endorse our own companies that people Boeing buys my product. You have people in your I Mexican know. homes every single week this year. I can't even get it. I know. We don't but even that's, show that's our funny, own companies. That's Paul. the funny part. It's it, it's so funny. It's like as Warren Buffett says, always be apprehensive of somebody who's going to make money off of your decisions, right? And, and that's what this. And is. sure enough, the big channels like Stock Mo, some of these pump and dump people, there there are alleged allegations that these people are getting in cahoots with the CEO of these penny stocks. And next thing you know, there's a penny stock video talking about these random companies you've never heard of. And, and the same uh, people watching will then sue someday, saying you misled me. Oh, if you just had a half a brain and a, anyway, let's go on. Mm -hmm. Deadly. By pretending to be an expert, saying that they're not giving you financial advice, but giving you financial advice, they can enrich themselves while making you poor. So these people, they're not going to tell you what their position is in these cryptos. They're not going to tell you that they got paid. What their true position is. But nonetheless, they will promote these things to the moon, telling you that they're the next big thing, but not telling you that they're going to make a killing on it. Here's what one of these Doge tubers looks like on Twitter. It's a Sam Pepper, by the way. <laughs> I love this guy it. looks like a yeah. I he, love the name Doge Tuber. This yeah. guy looks like he knows what he's talking about, doesn't he? Yes. Well, did you ever see that like commercial? Fake? There's a commercial where they take some like like heavy metal rocker, get him all cleaned up, looking like a financial advisor. He gets and people are like, you know what you're talking That's about? Me. That. That's me. That's me, Paul. Here we go. A prank where he killed his friend or something. I don't know. They mm -hmm. say this coin is bound to go up. Okay. Interesting. Might be five to ten minutes late announcing info. And then they say, I'm really excited to be promoting and hyping this new coin by the amazing team at Rootkit Finance. They're telling you, oh, it's going to be so great. Huge growth. It's going to the moon. It's going up. The project keeps expanding, blah, blah, blah. Truly amazing project. And then at the very bottom, not financial advice. <laughs> Once again, we see the Doge Tubers classic note. But the key thing here is that it's not just one thing. He's constantly shilling altcoins. That's what he does on his Twitter account. Now, the next feature of a Doge Tuber is that they're never negative. This is a key thing. They're always bullish. There's no money in uh, bad news. There's no money in real analysis, which sometimes includes, you know, like the truth, like the coin sucks, right? Instead, this, this is true, Paul. I, I have conversations with normal people and I get into it with people about Bitcoin and Tesla and I, I'll let them talk for an hour mm -hmm. and then reflect on the idea, Mo, that they've never bring up any down it, it's, there's no substance every single story is yeah. in your favor there's no yep. way this couldn't happen there's no way that a gigafactory could fail so as a counter argument intel i'm a fan of intel there are a million ways in which my investment does not work out but i sit there and say if i find 30 or 40 intels and buy them that overall because i'm very optimistic about the future and the economy and all that stuff i will do well but there's a million ways it doesn't work out. I was wrong on Amazon. Did I think this was going to happen? No. But was it a possibility? Absolutely. I just said it was highly unlikely. Highly unlikely happened. Okay. Yeah, I think, Paul, you, you talk about in a non-religious way how you're trying to teach people to fish, you know? Like, we want to actually physically get you the right gear, the right mentality, where to go, where to look. How to think. And unfortunately, like people like Stock Mo, they say, you know what? There's a lot of fish in this hole right now. And I think you should throw in a lure because that'll make you a great fisherman. Yeah. And, and uh, it's it's just, yep. it, it's mind numbing. Here you go. Yes, it is. They replace analysis with words like get rich, to the moon, and pumping. Now, look, let me be clear. The Doge Tuber is not the same thing as a crypto enthusiast who also kind of sounds like that sometimes because here's the deal. I'm not going to get mad and no one's going to get mad about people getting excited that they put $500 into Dogecoin two years ago and they saw it go to a thousand or a hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, I'm happy for you, dude. I wish that was me. But the difference is this. The Doge Tuber isn't excited about their portfolio. They want to get you excited so you buy in and then make their portfolio go up. 
right? That's the real intention behind it all. This is what makes them so slimy is because they say they're trying to do one thing, which is this, I'm just a crypto analyst, baby, just analyzing these sweet cryptos when actually they're just shilling it and they're just salesmen, right? Which brings us to number four. The DogeTuber used to be thought of among ecologists, among cryptologists as being a relative of the analyst, a weird, you know, offshoot, a genetic mishap. But the truth is, is that according to new research coming out in the journal Nature, the Doge tuber is actually a relative of the salesman because yes. even though they might provide some analysis or some like facts about a coin, they're only doing that to give you the good news and they'll never give you the bad news, which you is say more this like about a salesman, right? Like Paul, you say this about a lot of financial advice. I say it about anybody who makes money off of selling you something is a salesman. That's it. I, I don't care what it is. If you're a real estate agent, you're a realtor. You're not a you're a salesman. You're not a real estate expert. You're a salesperson. That's it. So why are you not a salesman of the Everything Money software? You I am 100 percent the salesman of the Everything Money software. I am selling you something. The difference is my selling you something is about you learning and getting better, and I'm putting it on us to teach you and you to learn. Every single time I get an email or message from somebody saying, "Paul, because of you, I made X," what do I say? I say, no, it's not because of me you made X. It's because you learned a process that made sense to you. I'm not taking the credit for that. I'll take credit for it in 20 years when you've said, Paul, I followed your process and I learned it and I beat the market by X. Great. Even then, it's still you that are making the money. If you don't listen to my advice, if you don't listen to my process, you can still make more money. That's fine. And I'm absolutely 100% selling our software because I know our software does well and I created it for me first and then said, oh, maybe we can, remember that, Mo? We were going to go, pay, we were going to pay for all this software to be we built anyway it. for us. We were literally making this so that we could do our own analysis. Own, and so then we're like, oh, then offices. people are like, hey, how do I get that software? All right, you can buy it from us. Yeah. There's That's a big difference between that and what can we sell to people quickly to make a lot of money? That's it. Yeah, I mean, I brought this up. It, it involves coins, but it, it, it's very similar to the hype channels that, that talk about stocks. Yep. And the funny part is, I guess if you're watching these is not only do they start the video by saying it's certainly not financial advice, but if you look in the comments, the scam bots from all over the world are trying to get you to buy the same thing that the viewer is selling. And the other thing is comparing us to, to, to um, I'm a salesperson. This software though, I want you owning it for 20 years. The realtor who sells you a house, the second the, the, the deal is closed, if Go the on. house goes to nothing and they did bad investment, they still made their commission. They are not calling you three I, months later and checking I in. I only make money if you stick around. I spent multiple six figures baking the software and I spent multiple six figures a year operating it. If you don't like it and you're gone, it costs me money. I have to earn your business every single day, every single and month. And in the end, it's a data feed. It just comes from Morningstar. It's not like, I mean. I'm just teaching you the process of doing it. Let's so, keep going. Oh, so, go ahead, Mo. Are we cryptologists, you and I? You and me? <laughs> yeah. Because you guys... <laughs> we're very bullish. I mean, we go to conferences and stuff. So. Boca Raton. Mm -hmm. For those of you who think Our they're lot. being serious, they're not being serious. <laughs> Is this video almost done? Tell you yep. zero to 60 I like this in like guy. Four seconds. They're going to remember one thing. I also liked um, how great investing is. with Rose. And then I heard later that her she's a very hype person. So... Mm -hmm. Have you watched his other videos? Uh, I have. I can show you. But there's more. There's more. Are they good? He pulls up TikToks of investor of new. In this is the premise of his thing to like kind of call call out call everyone. Out. Which, so did, do you think I would like him if I watched other videos of his? I mean, he his entire platform is calling out scam artists. He's really? got Grant Cardone ones. He's wow. got. Oh, I love this guy. So he, he doesn't, doesn't do anything else except that. He does tons and tons of research. What's where, his name? A coffee Zill. I don't know his real name. Oh yeah, Coffee Zill. But he does tons of research, so he'll pull Grant Cardone saying one thing one year, mm. and then the exact opposite the next year. Or in but has the data has, has the information changed? That's another thing. Like like oh. when I sit there and say buy Intel, I like Intel and I'm buying it. But if Intel tripled in price tomorrow, what am I doing with Intel? Yeah, you, uh, you're right. I get you. And, and, but in my opinion, Grant Cardone just changes it based on who he needs to sell, and that's it. I like this guy. What's the guess on number of um, followers? Ooh, Subscribers? 400,000. You said he was big. So I'm going to go really big. I'm going to go a million and a half. He's got uh, 670,000. I lost. Paul, you mentioned this, uh, how, you're, how you kind of like this guy. I think you have to see this. It's very short. You don't have to react. But Wait, this, I don't like Grant Cardone. I like the... Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla. Oh, I can't stand Grant, Grant Cardone. I think Grant Cardone is an absolute leper. I think he should go broke. Just I watch think he's this. awful. He's terrible. And I hope bad financial things happen to him. So the, this video is called Grant Cardone is officially a fake guru. Here you go, Paul. 
Look, I'm so worried about you, oh, Rob. I hate this guy. Bleep that out. The savings rate this month hit a low of 2.7%. This is a unbelievable and ridiculous warning sign that I told you about last week. The person that has $236. Invest it all in yourself. You're already broke. Don't hold on to $236. Our parents. I actually do agree with that. Yeah, <laughs> I want to bank cash, man. I need money. I need emergency funds. A safety net is one of the first goals any investor should have. Hey, Jake should Paul. Not Logan. That's Logan Paul. Everyone should save regularly towards some kind of safety net. It just doesn't make any sense. Save your money. Prepare for a rainy day. If I can don't rain here. I need to treat money like it's sacred. <laughs> the savings rate in this country was over 6.5% for 30 years. Now it's collapsed again. What are you doing? I'll never forget. These guys paid $12,000 each to sit in that chair. Three days, I got to look at their ugly faces. Look, man, you're spending money on junk. When <laughs> what the hell is happening? You don't need well, they're look showing old grant versus new grant and in the conflicting arguments. My little... Look at my little my little things, man. I got I know guys walking around with five and six hundred dollar headphones, and I got my little freebies that came came with my phone. Don't act like Why? that when What's you have a sixty million dollar private. private oh, phone. there we go. Passenger <laughs> Gulfstream. Uh, it retails for about sixty one million dollars. Truth is, most people don't. You just rattle off that number off the top of your head. Yeah, I literally was just like, okay, this guy's in. It. Isn't that well, funny like, how we both called it, keeps it out? Keeps going. Watch, watch. We're almost. I know they don't like money. You know how I know they don't like money? Because as soon as you get some, you get rid of. You buy shit with it. I mean, it's crazy when you start putting stuff on a jet. It's bizarre. Like this door was not in here. This door right here. Oh, here we believe go. Believe it or not, cost eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars to put in. <laughs> America is back to the savings rate that it was at back when we can had I, this Can I problem defend Grant Cardone just a little bit here? I can't believe you are, but go ahead. I, I have to because Grant Cardone, theoretically, if he had tens of billions, had billions and billions of dollars, we'd be bragging right. about that. It's a much different situation than an individual who has two hundred thirty-six dollars in their bank account. I'm not. By the way, I don't think Grant Cardone is worth anywhere close to what he claims or people think. I do not believe so. He is an absolute shyster. He is an awful human being. I guarantee he will not make the money he makes. He's a moron. He is stupid. I hope he goes broke. Every awful thing I can say about Grant Cardone, I absolutely say it and I mean it. If you think I'm being mean, I don't care. Just he's an awful human being. He's misleading you. He's the moron who says 6% better than 0%. He doesn't talk about the next domino effect of it. If you have the money to afford a $61 million jet, and it doesn't affect your life, go for it. If you yes. don't have the money to, to save for 236 bucks, you shouldn't be buying frivolous $500 headphones. I get that. I do want to defend that to a certain I That doesn't bother me as much as him saying 6% is better than 0%, you morons. You know what I mean? That, that bothers me way more. Well, that story is a little longer than what you're saying. Obviously, 6 does sound better than 0, but you're talking about the, what's behind the, the... Yeah, what's behind the 6, what's behind the 0. Yeah. 2008, when people were buying Porsches and cars, and country clubs. Dude, it's, it was out of hand. Uh, 10 years ago, all they used in these planes was really dark, heavy wood. Um, probably cost a million dollars to replace the wood. You know, my father told me, when I was six years old, he said, watch the pennies, the dollars will take care of themselves. Okay, help me out here, a penny saved is? A penny is a penny. Okay, your mama got real complicated here. A penny is a penny, and if you spend time with them, you'll end up with nothing. When you watch pennies, <laughs> and nickels, and dimes, and now that's a blatant hypocrisy. <laughs> that was great. Keep going. Quarters, when you watch that, you're going to pay attention to the bigger flows. People that are not disciplined with money don't end up with money. People that waste money on dumb things don't end up with money. There's something universal about money. Waste it. Somebody else gets it. So if you're down to your last oh, thousand Oh, Damon Job, this, I like you so much, Damon John. GrantCardone.com forward slash shark. Okay? Yeah. You're down. A guy's sitting there right now. He's got a Richard meal on his wrist. I got my last grand, dude. And I got Christmas coming. Should you spend it on this? Absolutely. There you go. Spend your last grand on Grant Cardone. Listen, I, 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 I didn't disagree with everything, and there's certain things, but at the same time, Grant Cardone is an absolutely awful human being. And you might sit there and say, you don't know him. I don't need to know him. How many subs does he have? Grant Cardone? A million and a half? Mm -hmm. Oh, probably more than that. Yeah, no. I don't know. Grant Cardone. Yeah. Anyway, CoffeeZilla, thanks for doing the work that you do. He works really hard in his videos, Paul, digging up these old clips and putting them together. Follow and, me on Instagram.
And um, yeah, that's our take. Uh, we'll do more reactions. Paul, I thought you'd like this one because uh, this guy, you, you should watch more of his videos. He, he oh, called, Steven Seagal becomes a crypto yeah, he, guru. He calls out all these scam artists. And uh, it's, it's Do you really know that amazing. one on the left? Great book, Bad Blood. Oh, is that Lizzie? Yeah. Yes. My favorite. That's a great book. She read one of the biggest week. like scams of ever all time in startups. She even had like former defense secretary, or secretary the, of state. The Clintons were involved. The, all Mad defending her. Like literally the guy's nephew, grandson from college figured out she was a scam. And he was like, you're wrong. And it caused like problems with the family and it turned out he was right. Yeah, all these stories he talks about on his channel. So court that's our take. Thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. Court and, um, court coming soon. Yeah, she's the court date is because she just had a baby. Yeah. Final thumbs up. We'll see you guys on the Patreon. See you around. Appreciate it.